Well, howdy, Texas BPA. Today I'm going to show you the BPA Scheduler app. So the BPA Scheduler app I got off the App Store because I have an Apple phone. However, it is available for free as well through Android. You just need to search for BPA Scheduler. And you can see it's the bottom right app with our awesome BPA colors. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app and log out real quick so we can start from scratch here. When you get the app, you're going to use your BPA.org login to log into the app. So because I'm a teacher, mine's going to be a little different than students. So students will use their O2-chapter number, chapter number, and their password that you assigned. I'm going to go ahead and sign in as an advisor. So now that I have the app open, the first thing I need to do is select which conference I would like to attend. So because I'm in the state of Texas, I have two different options. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have the Texas State Leadership Conference selected. However, this same app would also be used at nationals. First thing I want to show you is the event schedule. This is everything that's going on at Texas SLC. As you can see, there's a lot. If you want to get more information on something, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the, let's see, what's one of the ones my kids are in? Okay, extemporaneous speech. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that event, and I can see that's located at the Radisson and what rooms they're in, along with what date and the general time. I can even click down here at the bottom where it says add to my schedule, and it will be added to my events that I kind of want to bookmark. So my schedule shows all of those events that I have added. So these are all the different ones that my students are competing in. Um, I'm still working on getting a few of them on there, but here we go. But that way, if I know I have to be at the APG meeting Wednesday night, I have basically a quick reference for the Omni on what time I need to be at and what room it's in. Speaking of that, if you don't know exactly where that room is, if I go ahead and click Maps, and it may take a second to load. It did the first time I opened it. I can go here to the Omni and go and zoom in to find out where that uh, one is. For some reason this one, there we go, didn't have my fingers right. So I can go through and see, oh, it's on the third floor and that's where that ballroom is for the APG meeting. The next one I want to show you is finalists. And this is where you're really going to want to make sure that your students are putting this in. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on computer modeling. So after we load stuff into the DLG and start scheduling times for students to compete at finals, it will start loading here and it will actually load faster than we can get stuff printed because this is live from the site we use to actually record everything from our conference. So that way students can go through and see immediately once we've put the information in if they've made finals or not. So remember, it always takes us a little while to finalize things, so it won't be immediately after the contest ends, but it will be much sooner than waiting for the stuff to get posted outside the Omni headquarters. So this won't work for me, but as a student, if I logged in, I could actually add Torch Awards straight from the app, and I don't have to go through and go log them in later. Um, it syncs to their account on bpa.org, which is amazing and awesome. That way they can go through and see how many points they have and if things have been approved and all of that. The next one I want to show you is the membership card. If students are attending any of the BPA university sessions, or advisors, if you're coming to the BPA 101 for advisors session, we may be asking, hey, make sure you pull up your membership card, which is this card right here. This QR code that's on here will be scanned by someone with a smartphone to actually record a log of who is in there. Notifications, if there's something immediate like urgent that we need to get out from headquarters, we will put it here. If you have the app's notifications turned on, you'll get those alerts. Um, honestly, it's kind of a worst case scenario. Just keep going back and checking um, the event schedule. So real quick, I wanna show you what happens if you do get your membership card scanned. So I have to log in as a different user here real quick, sorry. My app's gonna change to slightly because it's gonna say start scanning. So right now there's just a couple sessions in, we're getting the rest in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click BPA 101 for advisors. So here you can see my lovely computer. So I would basically scan that QR code right here. Or if your students don't have the app, they don't have a smartphone, their phone is dead, they can say, hey, this is my number. Oops, I am 37. And FYI advisors, you're always 01 on a chapter if you need it. 
and I hit send. It will then tell me, hey, Kelly Monroe from Texas BPA has scanned into this session. So I hope that has helped you get this going. I know sometimes technology is kind of a nice thing to have when it works. Um, and hopefully we will like it a lot better here in Texas than we did with Twapi.